No scalpel, open-ended vasectomy in under four minutes. Inject sting-free local anaesthetic just into and around both vas deferens, also simply called tubes. Starting on the left side, isolate the tube with a three-finger technique. Apply ring forceps to the tube and skin and level to the horizontal. Insert the tip of a specialized curved instrument through the skin and fascia just into the tube. Then go through the same hole but with both blades and spread the skin and fascia that is a strong layer of tissue that encloses the tube like the skin of a sausage. Now hook up a loop of the tube and hold with ring forceps. You want to fully separate the fascia from the tube, but the fascia does tend to stick. One technique is to spread the fascia, as shown here. Although further work is usually required to separate the fascia fully from the tube, taking care to avoid the deferential artery. Insert a fine needle electrode into the lumen of the abdominal end of the vas deferens and cauterize the lumen as the needle is withdrawn. Cut the tube. The abdominal end now slips down inside the scrotum. Use forceps to grasp the fascia that surrounds the abdominal end and tie a dissolvable stitch around the fascia. Use a minimum of four throws and cut the suture. The abdominal or upper end of the vas deferens has now effectively been capped by the fascia, separating the two ends. Lift up the scrotum to allow the testicular end to drop back inside. The skin incision is three to five millimeters long and the process is repeated on the right side. The right vas deferens is manipulated underneath the skin incision and isolated with the ring forceps. The same instrument is used to go through the fascia, spread the fascia, and a loop of tube is brought out through the fascia and skin. However, the fascia has not yet been fully separated. You go just underneath the apex of the loop with the instrument and then both blades and stretch the fascia downwards. Further work is required to ensure good separation of the fascia from the tube. Here we are cauterizing the lumen or inside of the tube. It's just turning white as a needle electrode is withdrawn, cutting the tube just above the site of the cautery. The testicular end is being held up here and the abdominal end is slipped down inside, just underneath the fascia here. Some work is required to ensure the abdominal end is nicely covered by the fascia that is then tied with at least four throws. We have now achieved good separation of the testicular end, you can see on the right, and the abdominal end that's capped by the fascia. Thank you for watching.